This video is going to be a little more off script, mainly just because of the fact that this has just been an idea that has been kind of lingering in the back of my head. And I don't really know how to approach this topic other than just kind of let my heart pour out for it. Because this is about a genre that is real personal to me and is also probably one of my favorite genres in the Halloween and Christmas industry for animatronics yet to date. And when I say, uh, when I'm talking about this genre, I'm personally talking about musical animatronics. Now, let me explain. And let me start out with this. Over the years, we have been seeing a bunch of animatronics. In fact, the animatronic and Halloween and Christmas industry have been really kicking off quite a bit. And we've been seeing quite a lot coming out of the animatronic industry here lately. However, it seems like most animatronics today all kind of follow the same line of the two different kinds of genres of animatronics and that is jump scare animatronics and talking animatronics and unfortunately these two genres have really taken over the industry as a whole and has probably been the main courses that we get from the halloween and christmas industry as a whole and why I, and i'm not saying that these two genres are bad but what i am saying is that there's no creativity anymore everything is starting to repeat itself now we have had many animatronics with great lighting great phrases great personalities great movements etc but nothing in my personal opinion will beat the genre of musical animatronics now what do i mean by musical animatronics i'm talking about animatronics that either dance and sing talk and sing or simply just sing now we have seen this genre get mainly handed off to christmas and that's not a bad thing at all i'm not saying that whatsoever christmas is a great time for magic it's a great time for fantasy it's a great time for happiness and joy in the world it's a time where jesus was born it's a time where everybody just feels at peace in the world and it makes sense why animatronics would be singing during that time it's more appealing to kids and it helps make the animatronic more innocent towards families and many different kinds of people around the world However, this genre I have noticed has not only been handed down to the Christmas industry, but has been downsized down to only tabletops, unfortunately. And while I have no problem with that, because tabletops definitely need the musical genre to stick by them because it helps sell tabletops, I've noticed that mainly Halloween animatronics have lost that magical touch of singing or dancing animatronics. Now, when I say musical animatronics, I just wanted to point out a couple of examples. Exhibit A being simply this. The line of dancing skeleton animatronics, the life-size five-foot dancing Frankenstein, the new Oogie Boogie that was sold a couple years ago at Home Depot, the dapper skeleton sold at Walmart, and even the new Wednesday Adams animatronic that's coming out being musical the Jack Skellington and the Sally that have been sold for many years from Jimmy unfortunately Jimmy has been the main implementer of this genre and they have never fully lost it but I have noticed that they have really cut back on it now personally me I absolutely love this genre now let me explain why we have seen many animatronics like I mentioned before with lots of phrases lots of phrases and they seem to talk and all these animatronics have one thing in common they all talk about what they're going to do to you and they all have the same movement systems to me personally when you implement a song into an animatronic it really brings out the personality of that character and puts a whole new feeling on that prop um these dancing animatronics especially i have noticed are real big eye catchers granted they are not very well used in haunts and maybe that could be a small problem that a lot of people try to do haunts and want to take it very seriously but when you're somebody like me who just simply wants to do a yard display and just put some out in your yard that's all that i really care about is will the people like it 
And these musical animatronics not only are eye-catching, but very personality-driven. The dancing animatronics probably being the most personality-driven ones with the most movements. These animatronics have hip movements, arm movements, head movements, mouth movements, and eye-glowing, especially in the Halloween industry. And even the same for Christmas. Um, however, I think that not only does the musical and dancing animatronics really appeal to parents because of the music choices that you can put in them, but it also captures the eyes of children. Children really do love things that are very energetic, very out there, and it, it really captures their attention because kids, you know them, they're everywhere. But when you see a dancing animatronic, it's a lot different. Now, it can also scare a kid. However, when I say music implementation, I'm talking about how the dancing pirate skeleton sings some ZZ Top. How the uh, life-size dancing Frankenstein sings Thriller and Kiss. Did I scare you? Things that people can relate to, and not only that, but it really makes you happy when you see something like that singing one of your favorite songs. It really hits the dopamine level like crazy. And not only are there dancing animatronics out there that sing music, but there are also other animatronics that just sing and talk. Exhibit A being the Brain Monster, another one being the Edwardian Rappin Butler, Boogie Boogie that was sold just a couple years ago. We also have the Dapper Skeleton that was sold in 2023 that sings Spooky Scary Skeletons. All of these kinds of animatronics not only talked, but also had a song in there. And personally me, I thought it was so awesome that Jimmy was able to implement this into many different characters and in my personal opinion it really just brought out the personality and brought out the the character of the animatronic it was something kind of off left field and when people hear these songs such as the edwardian rapping butler singing rapper's delight <laughs> The Brain Monster singing the Monster Match, which is one of the most classic uh, Halloween songs out there. From my laboratory in the Castle East to the master bedroom where the vampires feast, the ghouls all came from their humble abodes to get a jolt from my electrodes. It really captures the attention of the people because they love these songs. And not only that, but it really brings out, like I've said, personality into the animatronic. And it also really, really brings out a whole new character out of them. It doesn't make them scary, yes, but it really does make them feel more welcoming, I guess you could say. And the Halloween animatronics are just slowly fading out and unfortunately i just don't think that these animatronics get the love and appreciation they deserve like they used to and personally me if you're gonna be seeing a bunch of animatronics in your yard or in a haunt talking and telling you what they're gonna do to you there's gonna be that one that's gonna be dancing and you're going to be captured by it because you're enjoying the show there's a lot of energy coming from it same with these talking ones you hear the song and you're watching more because personally me i think these animatronics are more eye capturing they make they they allow you to really watch them and make you really just enjoy what you're seeing a lot of animatronics we see today like i said just talk and i've noticed especially when i do my personal displays a lot of people just stare at them for a little bit and walk away but the one thing i noticed is that when i had my dancers out that's when people were watching 
And why? Because people could relate to the song, people were captured by the dancing movements, and people loved the personalities of these animatronics. Now, I personally have, like I said, been very disappointed that this genre has slowly faded off. And again, Jimmy's being one of the only few. And personally me, I think that this genre really needs to be saved again. And Jimmy has kind of revived it just a little bit by implementing the Oogie Boogie, the Jack Skellington, the Sally, and the Dapper Skeleton. Because when we found out that the Dapper Skeleton had come out, many people were really excited because he's saying spooky scary skeletons and it also implemented a real big extra little pop to this character it didn't make him too eerie it also didn't make him too kid friendly he was perfect he was just a typical dapper skeleton but saying spooky scary skeletons and it just brought the personality of the animatronic out so much better and it was very eye capturing for a lot of people when you have a lot going on, people tend to draw towards the musical side of things sometimes because sometimes that's the most fun thing to watch for them. And unfortunately, like I've said, a lot of these animatronics have slowly drifted off into the darkness and have kind of slowly disappeared. And I really just wish that this genre would start reviving itself because there is room for it out there. And it's it, it's really nice because it's a nice place marker in the middle of all the chaos that is going on with the movement and talking animatronics and jump scare props. It gives the audience a break from all of the talking and allow somebody to just enjoy a minute of their favorite song and i don't know if i'm the only one who feels this way but there are just a lot of really good ideas i think that could come out there the genre of the musical animatronic has pretty much carried the foundation of the halloween and christmas industry some of these animatronics being some of the very first really good ones that have been the most memorable as well aka being the five foot dancing santa jimmy made back in 2002 it was probably one of the most earliest more larger animatronics yet to date and i know it wasn't the very first one but it was probably one of the most memorable because you had a dancing santa claus singing some awesome songs with a beautiful voice and he had a lot of extra movement something that you would just never see anymore today because everybody wants to just make an animatronic and a lot of animatronics are just based on designs phrases and movements uh mainly mainly also lighting as well and it just seems like we have kind of lost the vision as an industry of of creativity and you know being able to make your character pop out a little more compared to others and some of these animatronics that sing have probably been some of the most legendary ones that people talk about all the time you don't always see all these talking ones really get the recognition but if you mention the brain monster people will flip out and say oh i remember if you mention that dapper skeleton people will say i remember boogie boogie they'll remember the rapping edwardian butler people will remember better I've noticed that personally myself, and you know why? Because the music genre allows for better memories, in my personal opinion. However, that's just kind of my rant, and I really just wanted to talk about it with you all and just kind of implement this out and just kind of put this out there in the industry and just let everybody know that this genre really does need to make a comeback. And it's really sad to see it slowly disappearing off into the distance. But I would love to see it come back a little more. Hopefully Jimmy will keep it alive. But I'm hoping maybe Techie or SVI might try and bring it to the spotlight. Because we have seen a lot of really good animatronics. Even ones that don't sing. Even ones that just play a song. Such as the Michael Myers that was made in the early 2000s. What a brilliant animatronic it was. All you had to do was implement the breathing and the song from Halloween. And people loved it because it was the song and all he had to do was move his eyes and move around and people love the animatronic it is probably one of the most legendary animatronics out there and it is still loved to this day but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and leave that here i hope you all did enjoy this rant if you did please let me know what you all think about the musical genre of animatronics halloween or christmas Personally me, I just think Halloween really needs the implementation back in it because there's so many possibilities and wonders that we could implement into this industry and some of it could be the musical stuff. We have a lot of good songs out there that we could implement into some of these animatronics. Now, whether or not it is it's license issues or not, I don't know. But anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. 
But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. If you did like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. I always try to upload weekly and never try and disappoint you all. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. This is Jimmy Bones signing off. I will talk to you guys in the next video. See ya.